Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll talk about how we can write automated API testing using REST Assured without writing even a single line of code using ChatGPT. So we'll be mind blown with this particular feature which is available in ChatGPT where all we have to do is to have a API specification of our application which contains all the different endpoints of our application. Just copy paste that API spec and ask the ChatGPT to write the or generate the code for you using REST Assured or REST Sharp or any other automation testing tool. It is going to generate the code for you. And then you can just copy that code, paste it into your IntelliJ IDE or any IDE of your choice. And then you can see that the test is going to execute as expected because it knows that the API spec has got all the details of your endpoints and then it generates the code for you. We'll see all those details in this particular video and I will show you how awesome it is. So for doing that, first I'm going to run our application as you can see over here. And you can see that this application also has got a lot of APIs over here. And the API specification is available over here within our API spec or the open API spec of this particular application. So I'm gonna just copy this whole API spec and I'm gonna go to the chat GPT. And over here in the chat GPT, I'm gonna select the version GPT-4 and I'm gonna say write API testing code using REST Assured for API spec this. That is what I have to do over here. So you will see that it is going to start using REST Assured library in Java and then it is going to start writing the code for us using the specification that we have provided. And you will notice that it is not only going to write the code for like one single endpoint or the controller of our application, rather it is going to write for each and every single controller which is exposed in the API specification. So you can see that within this API specification, we have got for get product by ID, get product by name, get products, create, update and delete. So it is going to write all those tests for us over here as you can see. So you can see that currently it has written the code for get product by ID, get product by name, get products, which is the whole product, and then create product. And then it is also gonna write for the update product and delete product. And you will notice that this particular code is also telling you that you're gonna pass your uh, base URL over here, which is gonna be changing each and every time based on your application uh, URL. And you'll also notice that it is writing the code in the given when then pattern, which is awesome. So it knows that how it has to be written over here. And also you can see that the whole code has been written with the given as well. But I think the delete is a bit stopped there. So I'm gonna hit continue, which is gonna continue the delete operation for us. You can see that the delete test is being written over here because it has stopped in the middle. But we can also ask the chat GPT to tell that, hey, chat GPT, can you write me a builder pattern kind of code uh, just for the rest assured library? Because you seems to be writing the uh, library, which is the initialization of the rest assured over here for me. Rather, you just try to do that from a different class file. We can also ask that so that it becomes like a good pattern to code as well. So I'm gonna say like, write rest assured library initialization in a separate class file. So immediately you can see that we're starting to do that for us as well. Like it is going to go and create the class file like a rest assured configuration class file. And then it is trying to write like all the builder pattern specification kind of code, uh, like rest request spec builder. And then it is telling me that this rest assured configuration is something that we need to use within our test class to invoke the rest assured library. This is amazing, right? Like this is more than enough for us to start building our API test without writing even a single line of code. Like the whole code is now being generated over here. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna just copy paste this whole code from here into my IntelliJ IDE and then I'm gonna execute this code and see how this code is gonna basically work. So for that, I'm gonna go create a project and I'm gonna call this as rest assured code. So I'm going to copy this code from here and let me go to this particular class file. We can probably create the test over here itself. So I'm going to call this as rest assured configuration and I'm going to paste them all over here. And we also need to install the rest assured. So I'm going to go to the rest assured maven and I'm going to go to the pom.xml file. 
and I'm going to install the library. And you can see that everything is working fine over here. And now I'm going to go to chat GPT once again, and we'll see like how the code has been created. And you can see that there is a product test. So it is asking me to do this kind of test over here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to the test once again over here. I'm not going to write any spring test really. I'm just going to use this test. So let's not worry about the spring boot test for now. And over here, we're going to change our port, the URL to localhost colon 8001. And I'm going to add the dependencies. And you can see that the get product by ID test is written. Now I have to change all the code to this code. So I'm going to say get product by name, delete. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste this over here. And you can see that all the code actually misses this uh, spec over here because that is required. So I'm going to replace the base URL to the spec. I mean, that is the only thing which, because I have asked the chat GP to generate the code in a different format right now, uh, the code has been replaced there. So I'm going to go and change that alone. I'm going to save it. So I have, you can see that the delete test, I have missed it for now. So let it is fine. And right now I'm just going to run the test and see how this is going to execute. So you can see that basically I have not written even a single line of code here. And then I'm trying to run the test and you can see that the test is actually working fine. The update test was executed, the get product executed, but the get by name is not going to execute, which is fine. The reason why is because as you can see, uh, maybe that particular name doesn't even exist. So you can see that the product name is test product. So I, I just need to change the test product to probably a product which exists in our uh, application. I think the product which exists is like mouse. So I'm going to use that over here. And similarly, there is no product by ID as one. So there is only product by ID as two. So that is the reason why this test has got failed. You see if that code actually executes or not. So actually the code that we change right now should be executing. There we go. So you can see that the create alone is failing. So don't worry about the create failure there. I think that it should be easily fixable at well as well because it's all about the data that we have to pass. You can see that we are trying to pass the 10 there, but I think we already have in the, our application with the value of 10 there, like update uh, test uh, product, something like that. That's the reason why the test is failing there. So you can see that we have already started generating the code for our REST Assure test using just the API specification. So I have already tested all the different endpoints which is available within my application and the code is already working for me. And so this is the way that you can see that we could able to just having a bit of knowledge of how the application works, we can now use the same code by copy pasting our API spec in the chat GPT and let the chat GPT generate the code for us. And now the code is already available for us. So this is how we can write an API test using rest assured in chat GPT by just using the API specification much easily. We can also try to generate a whole application code, like even the controllers as well as the services and everything using the same code, uh, like a same API specification. But I'm not really going to talk about that in this particular video, but at least we got an idea like how we can create an API test using REST Assured using ChatGPT in much easier fashion, something like this. Thank you.